Hi, this is Matthew Robert Payne, and uh, this is my YouTube channel. Uh, if this is the first time you've seen a video, uh, welcome. What do you do when you mishear the Holy Spirit? When uh, you're listening to the Holy Spirit and you're being led by the Holy Spirit and uh, you feel that you're led to make a certain decision or go a certain way and you embark on that certain way and it doesn't seem to be working out, there seems to be a roadblock is that a roadblock from the enemy trying to stop what the Holy Spirit uh, has inspired you to do? Or is it a roadblock from God uh, trying to shut down a misdirection and your own flesh thought, your own idea, and not an idea of the Holy Spirit? How do you, how do you cope with that? How do you deal with that? Uh, one of the... Uh, uh, one of the things about uh, being led by the Holy Spirit and intuitively uh, spoken to by the Holy Spirit is being able to decide what is a roadblock from Satan, what is warfare from Satan, and what is God putting a stop to something that uh, you felt that you're inspired to do, but you weren't. One thing I can say uh, to you uh, as you're learning uh, to be led and directed by the Holy Spirit is that uh, Jesus works all things to, together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. So uh, whether you make the right decision and go in the wrong right direction or whether you make a wrong decision and go in the wrong decision, Romans 8.28, that promise says, God will work it out for good. One of the best ways uh, to learn discernment or grow in discernment of the voice of the Holy Spirit is practice. And you can't get a practice playing tennis without practicing. Uh, you can see a, a girl at six years of age hitting balls over a net playing tennis and you can see she can do a drop shout. You can see that she can serve. You can see that she can run around the court. You can see that she knows the rules of tennis. And she could be quite good competing uh, with other girls her age in tennis. But it's not until she's hit a million balls over the net in practice that you see her in the final of Wimbledon at the top of the game. How did she get from being a very beginner at a young age showing competency in the uh, gift of tennis uh, to the 20 year old she did plenty of practice and i've found personally as person who's been led by the holy spirit for years that uh, discernment uh, when it comes to the holy spirit's voice and direction can be tricky and it's only learned and refined and improved uh, with a lot of practice so my advice to you, uh, if you heard a wrong uh, direction and you made a mistake, is that uh, God doesn't make mistakes. And uh, even if you feel that you were led by the Holy Spirit or directed by the Holy Spirit, and it turns out that it isn't, listen to God's stop sign. Listen to God's course direction. Um if uh, you were wrong and you did something and it hurt someone or it affected someone in a negative way, uh, say sorry to them, apologize to them, repent for that and uh, make amends. But don't beat yourself up. The only way uh, to become very proficient at uh, being led by the Holy Spirit uh, is to have uh, plenty of practice and grow and grow and grow in discerning the voice of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit isn't uh, like legalistic. Uh, if you don't do what the Holy Spirit says, he doesn't beat you up and shame you and condemn you. That's the voice of the Antichrist spirit who tries to masquerade and counterfeit the voice of the Holy Spirit. I've got a, a book uh, uh how, how to Hear God's Voice, uh, Keys to Conversational Two-Way Prayer. And uh, that uh, talks about the Antichrist spirit and how you can be deceived. But that's not particularly uh, the subject of uh, this uh, video. 
I felt led that uh, I felt inspired to start a Facebook page uh, yesterday uh, that's going to promote um, uh, encountering heaven for people. And uh, I uh, reached trying to uh, advertise that page and I wasn't able to uh, make it work. There was some error coming up and I don't know if I need uh, someone to work with me on that and help me or that was a roadblock of God. I, I sense uh, that running it uh, from a Facebook page uh, would be a good thing. So I'm not entirely sure. I haven't done my investigation to know if I got that direction, that leading to start the Facebook page by the Holy Spirit, or was it uh, from my own idea trying to jump ahead of God and get things moving for God? So there's going to be plenty of examples in your life uh, where you feel that you were led by the Holy Spirit and you actually weren't. It was your own idea or it was your own flesh wanting to do something and superimposing the Holy Spirit's voice into uh, directing you. Uh, so you'll learn over time. Uh, understand that even if you make mistakes and uh, you hurt someone or something is done wrong or you suffer loss in some way, just remember Romans 8, 28, all things work together for good for those who love God uh, called according to his purpose. And uh, don't compare yourself to others, Paul says. So don't be beating yourself up that other people hear the Holy Spirit better than you and you're just no good. And just uh, don't... Uh, don't be too hard on yourself and don't have regrets. I hope uh, this has encouraged you. Uh, if uh, you enjoyed this video, please, please uh, respond to this and give me a like and it helps uh, the Facebook algorithm. Um, if uh, you want to make a comment about your own story or an example or comment on what I've said, uh, please be encouraged to comment. I respond to all comments and I read all comments. Uh, if this is a video that you're interested in, you're kind of interested in hearing other videos and seeing other videos of mine, I encourage you to subscribe because I've gone from writing books full-time to uh, making videos full-time. If you want to uh, join and subscribe uh, to my channel, uh, I would encourage that. I encourage you to subscribe. And uh, I've actually got a membership uh, where you can join the uh, channel and support me financially. And I'm going to start to produce member-only uh, content where I'm going to start to spiritually mentor people into the people that uh, they're destined to do. So uh, I pray that uh, you are blessed blessed by this and i hope uh, that uh, you can watch many more of my videos god bless